Okay, here's a quick video uh, for the section called Solving Exponential Equations and Delta Math. Calls. This level three, um, I don't know, probably just because it's got a, a fraction in the uh, exponent spot, but really it's not all that difficult. Uh, first thing you want to notice on the right side, you can't multiply the 10 and the 4 to get 40 uh, because, you know, 4 is raised to that power and 10 isn't. So we got to get the 10 out of there. So since they're being multiplied on the right, we'll divide by 10 on both sides. And, uh, of course, 17 divided by 10 is just 1.7. And you're left with 4 to this really ugly power, x over 8 minus 2, that's 8. And of course here you are, you have to get that exponent down, and the way we do is by logging both sides, or natural log, I'll do the common log, but either one will do, as long as you do it to both sides. And of course the whole point of that is that exponents uh, come down and become coefficients. So on the left you have log of 1.7, right you have x over 8 minus 2 times the log of 4 and you really have to be careful that x over 8 minus 2 that's that's all grouped together it was it was the exponent now it's uh, all grouped together as a coefficient for log 4 and now it's this is actually a linear equation to be honest with you it's it's really an x to the first power that those logs are constants so um you know, you just start peeling everything and get it over to the left side of the equation, get x by itself. So, of course, what we do first, we, we divide by log 4, right? And, you know, it's just kind of a lot of steps here, but nothing, nothing all that difficult. So, we get log of 1.7 over log of 4. I guess if you're comfortable, you could get a... Uh, decimal for that, but I'm going to just kind of hit the calculator once at the very end of the problem. And then finally, I'm going to do two steps in one here just to um, speed this up a little. Um, what would I do to both sides? I would certainly add 2 and then I'd multiply by 8, right? That would be the step to get x by itself. So I'm going to add 2 first of all. So what are you going to have? You're going to have log of 1.7 over log of 4. I'm going to add 2 to that, and then you got to multiply the whole thing by 8. So uh, that's your solution right there. Of course, on Delta Math, they're going to want you to put that into your uh, graphing calculator. So it's 8 times all this, and if you put that all in your graphing calculator, it should give you 19.1. So just be careful, do it step by step. And again, if you sort these correctly, they tend to be uh, pretty easy problems. Okay, I hope that's helped. That was solving exponential equations.